So what's up guys, this is Harsha from Gaming and Tim and I hope you're doing well and I'm really fine. So welcome back to Daily Gaming News episode number 21 without wasting any time let's begin our news. So our first news comes from the NVIDIA side. So NVIDIA is likely to launch the GTX 201160 and the RTX 2060. It is really awkward right? So the RTX 2060 will have the ray tracing cores as usual and the GTX, uh, GTX 1160 will, uh, will not have the RTX cores but it is said to have the same amount of CUDA cores and it, it also not it didn't reveal that how many CUDA cores it will have and this all this thing is just a rumor or you know it is just confirmed by leaks or something like that there is no official statement from the NVIDIA side still so we just need to wait and see what NVIDIA pulls off really according to some major leaks NVIDIA RTX 2060 uh, may have GDDR6 of 6 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, they didn't say anything about the CUDA cores. Uh, there, there aren't any leaks uh, regarding the CUDA cores. Uh, that how many CUDA cores will 2060 have? But still, uh, it should be on par with uh, 1070 or 1070 Ti, right? So the 1160 will not have the CUDA cores, and RTX will have the CUDA cores. That's all from the leaks, and. Coming to the 1160, uh, which is a continuation of the Pascal side but having the Turing architecture inside, it is said to have same specs but without ray tracing cores. So this is okay. I mean, we can understand. You know, the uh, the card which he, which don't have ray tracing cores will off uh, will obviously be uh, you know uh, less expensive. And but if you want the ray tracing cores, you need, you probably need to go with the RTX 2060. Uh, to get the ray, ray tracing enabled uh, but I don't think 2060 is gonna do ray tracing that well it, it, obviously it's gonna implement ray tracing in games but I think you need to play at low uh, I mean low low ray tracing fidelity so it's all it's completely your choice how you're gonna do how you're gonna buy these cards if you have money go with the RTX if you don't have money go with the GTX 1160 my best option is go with the GTX 1160 and spend that money on your monitor or something like that because uh, spending on monitor it will always it will be a good amount of money spent on your whole desk because getting a 144 hertz monitor will always help you to roll up the game so yeah with that being said let's move to our next news so our next news comes from the call of duty so as you can see on the screen call of duty uh, Treyarch tweeted this tweet as you can see here they are gonna say that zombies disappeared from the blackout and maybe they are planning for something holidays so it is it, it's really interesting to see what they are gonna bring for the holiday season so um, we are re i'm really really interested for that and there's a new patch for the call of duty black ops 4 that removed level 3 armor from the blackout uh, which you'll get obviously from the drops hot drops or whatever you call it loot boxes in call of duty so we need to see what these guys bring the holiday season. Uh, the tweet is really going crazy right now in the Black Ops community. So we are really excited for that. And let's see what they, what they do in the holiday season for that. So our next news comes from the Last of Us Part 2. Now this, this, this is not any big news. This is just a kind of news you'll feel like oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so just yesterday PlayStation uh, if you're familiar with the PlayStation channel uh, those dudes drop a new just a video of uh, burning a car uh, they said the title uh, the video title is last of us part 2 I just did, didn't remember that I'm putting a link in the description down you can just go and you can check it out I just saw a few minutes I thought that something's gonna happen but no nothing happened the car just went on burning 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 and those ra raindrops are falling and those sounds gave me goosebumps for some reason I don't know if you guys feel it or not but the news is that you can just uh, that's a dynamic theme for the PlayStation 4 you can just apply it to a background and the video is about two hours long on YouTube so I don't think you're gonna see that so this is how it looks it just uh, this video uh, continue two hours straight so we don't know what's not naughty dog gonna tell us by this but uh due to this leak will not dog reveals the release date for the not last of us part two we don't know because the time will tell that and this car burning can be a dynamic thing for your ps4 for free i mean you just don't need to pay a any penny for that D this is just for free like not dog is giving gift for their fans so just go and apply and try it and mention in the comment section down below how do you think about that with that being said let's move to our next news our next news comes from the anthem now uh, I'm just dropping the link in the description box you can go through and you can check it out uh, developers just showed us a new 
uh, javelin it's called as interceptor and stronghold so they just uh, gave us a small glimpse of what's the gameplay and how's the gameplay gonna be and I really didn't watch the whole video you can just go and you can click it click the link uh, you'll be directly taken to that video where the developer showcased all these things and I think uh, I think this is gonna be good because the game look absolutely fantastic there is no doubt about that and the, the gameplay looks a bit fatigued but it's okay uh, we, we just really didn't got our hands on that game right so we just really don't know what's going on in the anthem right now and yeah the game is gonna be uh, the game is getting closer to its release date and i'm really excited for this game so with that being said let's go to our next news so our next news comes from the intel side so i'm not gonna elaborate this news very far because if i elaborate this news then it may take up to 15 minutes from now so i'll make a separate video regarding this so please make sure uh, please make sure you tune for that so I, i'm gonna say it in a short form so the news is that intel's uh, gonna likely to expand their 9th generation CPUs here. Uh, we already have the i9 9900K as their uh, you know, uh, consumer range flagship processor but now these will be refreshed by i9 9900KF I mean uh, as you're seeing here K, K means that you can uh, the processor is unlocked you can get some extra performance by overclocking it as per your wish and I, we, do, we exactly don't know what F means. I need to do a, some kind of research on that because I really don't know what F means here. So we just need to see what Intel does here. And I'll be making a separate video on this according to the leaks. Uh, so we got some information according to the leaks. So I'll, make, I'll be making a separate video regarding this. So please make sure you subscribe my channel and stay uh, and stay tuned and press that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a video. So I'll not be streaming today, guys, because uh, I'm, I'm a little bit busy. So yeah, I'll be making videos from now. That's it for today's daily gaming news episode number 21. Hope you guys liked it. So yeah, meet you next day, guys. Bye for now.